Welcome to ChemHelp ASAP. When, when we talk about valences and electrons and octet rules, sometimes as we exchange electrons between atoms, atoms will pick up a charge, a formal charge. So we need to be able to know how to calculate this formal charge. So how do we calculate formal charge? Well, first, what is the formal charge? A formal charge is a way of identifying whether an atom has the right number or too many or too few electrons. And that's how I want to frame this equation. So the formal charge, many people call it simply Fc, in fact we'll do the same, is the idea of it's taking the difference between the number of electrons an atom should have And it's a difference between that number and number of electrons an atom does have. So what should it have and what does it have? And the difference between those two values will tell us whether we have a situation with a formal charge. If we have too many electrons, then we're going to encounter a formal charge of less than zero. And formal charges typically are either plus one, minus one, or zero. So minus twos and threes are fairly uncommon in organic chemistry. If we have too few electrons, then we're going to have a formal charge that's greater than zero. We're going to have a positively charged atom. And then, of course, if it's just right, the formal charge is going to be zero. So what is our equation for this? And there is a standard equation. Um, there are many variations on this, but all of them kind of say the same thing. So we need to determine the number of electrons that the atom should have. The number of electrons it should have is the number of valence electrons in the atom. Now we don't need to calculate this. This is simply the group number. This is from the periodic table. So there's no calculation. This is a property of the atom itself. And now we take away the number of elect electrons the atom does have that's equal to the number of electrons in the lone pairs. You can think of this as the number of electrons in the lone pair or two times the number of lone pairs since it's two electrons per lone pair. And we're going to take away one half the number of electrons in the bonds. Since we're dealing with covalently bound molecules, um, that means they're sharing the electrons in bonds, so we're only going to count half of those electrons as in terms of what the atom does indeed have. So that is our formula. Like I say, there are many variations of this formula, but if you really break them down, they all say the same thing. We're taking the number of electrons that the, that the atom should have, and that's in its neutral state, and then we take away, subtract out the number of electrons in the lone pairs, and then the number of, take one half of the number of electrons that we find in the covalent bonds. And that will give us our formal charge.